America, since I got a moment, let me leave something with you. I want you to know that it is my estimation, <clears throat> it is my critique, it is my evaluation that, like Donald Trump said, America is crooked. America is as crooked as you think she is. But I'm going to tell you something. America is not as crooked as Donald Trump. Donald Trump so crooked, when he came into the position of being president of the United States, he had no intentions whatsoever of doing anything for you. That's why he said he could shoot somebody, he could kill somebody, and you would exonerate him. You would exonerate him. So he hasn't done anything for you. He, but you, like he said, are still trying to exonerate how no good he is. Now, let me say this if I can. Now, I'll wait that the next time. So I'll leave this. America is crooked. It's crooked. Real crooked. You don't have to look for it. All you got to do is look at the poverty, look at the crime, and look at the violence. And that will tell you. And look at the very rich people. And that will tell you how crooked America is. And when you rich people or people with a lot of money talk to you about the system and how it's supposed to work and how well it's working or whatever, they're never going to say the same thing to you that those who are at the bottom or in the middle will say. The ones in the middle are trying so hard to get to the top. So they might go along with, you know, like Kevin McCartney. He, he represents the middle, but he wants to get over there where the, where the power is. So he lie, cheat, and do anything he possibly can. That's what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. I don't have to bite my tongue about that. You see that right before your very eyes. And let me tell you something about these crooked people. I got two minutes. Let me take two more minutes to tell you about them crooked people. They had me believing. Let me tell you. They had me believing. These are the people that Donald Trump, that support Donald Trump. They had me believing that Columbine was true. They had me believing that wherever these shootings took place at, the kids that were shot and killed or shot and maimed were the same kids playing the same role at another location. They had me believing that. Why? Because a lie is easy to believe. I didn't have anybody else saying they weren't. So I accepted it as it was. What? I tell my friend, man, did you know what happened in Columbine? Did you know that uh, the Clintons? Oh, man, did you know the story about them? Mm -hmm. you, did you hear that they had uh, oh my god let me see they were selling drugs and dope coming in from Arkansas all kinds of crooked stuff now was it true I really do not know but they had me believing it and this guy I can't even think this brother's name oh my god I feel so bad his name is Ron no, 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 no. can't think his name right now he supposedly was killed Shot in the back of the head and the covered up had a plane crash. Run, 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 run. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So, you know, they have you believe in all kinds of stuff. But now I would never have believed <laughs> that the chickens were eating the ballots. My point, ladies and gentlemen, is this. Unless you're following the truth, you get any kind of lie. And unless you get a chance to follow the truth, you'll follow any kind of lie. What am I saying? I'm saying that the American people today have followed lies all their lives. And today they are still following a lie. But if I had the power, if I had the wherewithal, I would tell every poor person in this country, everybody that's making under, under uh, $200,000 a year, I would tell them, if I were your representative, if you empowered me to be your spokesman, I would assure that not a single one of you would ever be without food and clothing. You'd have whatever you want to eat. You can go to the supermarket and get it with a card that you don't have to put in to pay anything. I would make sure that you would have the housing, the kind that you want, with all the stuff in it just like you want it, to be pretty just like you want it. I would make sure of that. I would make sure that you could go to school, your kids could go to school, we we'll never have to worry about paying for it. Get the best education you possibly can. If you empowered me, I know you're not, but if you did, I'd make sure that you'd have health care from the womb to the tomb. 
That's what I would do. Why? Because I, do, I tell you the truth and expect you to empower me. And empowering me, these things would happen. It would bring you peace and prosperity and freedom and joy and the fulfillment of your dreams. And all you have to do is take that gift that you have been given, the one that gives you your greatest excitement that you've been wishing you could do. Now you can do it. And in so doing, you never have to suffer for anything else. That's what I would tell you if you made me the voice behind your power. But I know you wouldn't do that. No, you couldn't do that. You'd rather be a slave.